I want to make a really noisy video here about how concepts are going to be magnets in the propositional language. Alright, good. We've got all kinds of distractions here. Okay. So, what do you mean propositional language is like inside, parentheses, cup, water. Right? That's, how, that's propositions. It's like the action. Modifier is on the outside and what's being modified are the two things on the inside. The modifier and the modifiee, right? And then it could be like drink, human, cup, parentheses, water, blah, blah, blah. So this inside of that, inside of that, inside of that, inside of that. So the thing about these are that they're exact, right? Once you know a relationship, you know it definitively and it's not going to change. So that allows you to do all kinds of complex manipulations thereof, right? But the only thing that's bad is that it doesn't change. Once you know it, you know it. And that means that the computers aren't creative. So here's the thing we want. We want these things to act like attractors, like these pairings to be like hooks and latches and that they're glued together with a certain glue and then they unglue. So we want them to be like magnets, that they have a certain attraction and repulsion given their, given the, oh, the overall like magnetism of the, the directive. So the directive repolarizes all the concepts in the overall network for an instantaneous redistribution of concepts in the brain. That's what it is. That's what it is. So these um, neural nets are connected in a latch and hook ma matter that are kind of float around and sift around like these endless staircases of Harry Potter, right? And they just connect with each other based on this magnetic Pool, polarization of the directive of the brain. The directive of the brain is a synchrony, a magnetic, electromagnetic synchronous function that defines a waveform pattern that corresponds to the overall flow of the thoughts and the overall frequency of the thoughts, the uh, kind of the frequency at which the consciousness is functioning, right? And so, when you're functioning inside that frequency, you have thoughts of a certain bandwidth inside that frequency and so what you're doing as you're building up these conceptual structures in pretend play is gradually changing the mental frequency with which, within which you're operating such that you can have certain thoughts so those thoughts literally were not thinkable before you constructed this foundation